Welcome boys and girls to the second lesson of reading and writing decimals to the thousands place. This morning's bell work is shown here and we are going to practice uh, writing the following numbers in word form and expanded notation, fractions or decimals. So today our I can statement is I can read and write decimals to the thousands place using expanded notation. So let's look at some of the tools that we use in reading and writing numbers or decimals to the thousands place using expanded notation. Some of the tools that we discussed in class that you will keep in mind as a strategy to use when you are solving questions regarding reading and writing decimals is a number line, a place value chart, and base 10 models. We are going to focus more on the base 10 models today because that is what we did in class. So let's look at some examples of reading and writing decimals to the thousands place using expanded notation. <clears throat> A place value chart gives us the place value. So my question is, explore the numbers in the place value chart above. Write in standard form. If you look at the first digit, the first number before the decimal, we have 23. So in front of the decimal, we have 23. And remember, standard form is like word number form. And behind the decimal, we have a 4 in the tens place, a 5 in the hundredth place, and a 4 in the thousandth place for 454 thousandths. And remember, we say the name of the digit in the last place. So the strategy we learned in class is making two numbers, 23, the word and, 454 in the thousandth place. How do you say it? We say it, 20 hyphen 3, and the decimal point is read as the word and, 400. 50 hyphen 4 and then it's in the thousandths place. Remember that we hyphen every double digit number that does not end in a zero that is greater than 20. So let's look at it in a model. So this decimal, there is an 8 in the tenths place. That means I have 8 tenths. If I count each one of these is a hundredth, but 10 of them equal a tenth. So one entire column is a tenth. So one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight of the tens would be shaded. Eight tenths. In word form, we would say eight tenths. In expanded form or expanded notation, there'd be an 8 in the tenths place or 8 times 1 tenth. It's still 8 groups of 1 tenth or 8 groups of 1 tenth. Well, what would it be if we had 0 and 42 hundredths? So let's write that number in standard form. 0 and 42 in the hundredths place. So 0 and 42 hundredths. So I need to shade in 42 of these hundredths. Each box is a hundredth. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 42 hundredths. An expanded notation or expanded form, we have a 4 in the tenths place plus we have a 2 in the hundredths place. And remember, in fraction form, the only thing that changes is the decimal into a fraction. What if I had a mixed number? A mixed number means I have a whole number 
and a part of a whole number or a decimal. In this case, we have one whole, the word and, 64 hundredths, 64, and the 4 is in the hundredth place. How would I shade that model? Well, this is one whole would be shaded plus 64 of the hundredths, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. In expanded form, we have 1 plus 6 times 1 tenth plus 4 times 1 hundredth. Again, we could also say 1 times 1 in the 1's place plus 6 times 1 tenth plus 4 times 1 hundredth. So let's look at it in action. If my number was 1 and 726 thousandths, I have one whole, 7 tenths, 2 hundredths, 6 thousandths. In decimal, we have 1, 7 tenths, 2 hundredths, 6 thousandths. In expanded, we have 1 times 1, which is one group of 1, 7 times 1 tenth, 7 groups of 1 tenth, 2 times 100, 2 groups of 100, and 6 times 1,000, or 6 groups of 1,000. Put it all together in expanded notation. So let's try. I have 3 and 524 thousandths. So this is a 5 times 1 tenth, or 1 tenth, 2 times 1 hundredth, or 1 hundredth, and 4 times 1 thousand, or 1 thousand. This would be 3, 2 hundredths, or 4, and 4 thousandths. So in expanded notation or expanded form, we have three groups of one plus five groups of one-tenths plus two groups of one-hundredth plus four groups of one-thousandth. And then change all of the decimals into fractions. Three groups of one, five groups of one tenth, two groups of one hundredth, and four groups of one thousandth. So here's your mastery check. Answer the two following questions. And the B, I want you to write the number in two different ways of expanded form. First, use it in decimals. Second, or write it in decimals. And second, write it in fraction. Pause the video while you are working on the mastery check. And the answer will follow. So pause it now, and when you are done, hit play to see your answers and check your work.